Alrighty, Rue and Kuka could shoot to you and all my nobody's not watching out there. Robert's like, Nice stunt, Taylor. Way to tuck and roll. That's not it. Tuck and roll is what you do when you're trying to exit a moving vehicle. I guess you could use tuck and roll in other ways, but you don't... I mean, I don't think tuck and roll is what you do when you're about to be hit. Although... Maybe? I don't know. It wasn't some stunt. I still feel bad about that. He's like, I feel bad about being hit by your vehicle. It's like, we both feel bad, dude. But you just immediately tried to make me feel better by turning it into some joke. It's like, in all honesty, he, he did seem to genuinely feel better. Like, like, he seemed to take it not like a man or like he's trying to like cover himself like it seemed to be like it, it he really did seem to feel like it was his fault like i shouldn't have been in the road what was it again i said i get hit all the time and sometimes when it when it's a bad one i have to turn i i have to turn the drivers into mulch like you know, that's like real talk. If something this size, I mean, like, if he has the ability to react in time and not just be like being st standing and being hit by a vehicle at whatever a speed, not great. Like, because you could get run over, then you get run over, and that's bad. Um, doing the little bit necessary to kind of like react and if you have the time and then like get out of the way of the mo the majority the grill the front of the vehicle so that it can sort of hit you like you you bounce off the 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 hood and into the the windshield and stuff that that's better but if he did that and he just went through the windshield his big ass could just go through them too. Wow, that's dark. You had to be there, I guess. Then you said you'd come to the lake with me. That really helped me feel like I could do it. Because you were there for me. Well, first he said that only losers and stuff like that go there and burnouts and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, I kind of convinced him into it. And he said he would go. You all just... You all just made this year one of the best years of my life. That is a hap... That is the happiest, saddest moment. Right there. Also, Day, you're still wearing... Those nope... I guess, boxer briefs. And... I mean, everybody wears the same clothes all the time. But it's just, I guess... Something about that makes it. I, never mind. It's pretty great, wasn't it? It had its ups and downs. Mostly the downs being you guys fighting at the end of it, and in the middle during winter break, and then us not talking until I basically said I'm moving away. Yeah. It definitely had its moments, though. Yeah, like that time we pranked the hell out of you two. When did we prank... Oh. Stella, don't don't bring up the prank with... I wouldn't bring up either. Just both of them are bad. Yeah, it's not really a great prank phone call when the person you call knows it's you the whole time. Excellent reply, Taylor. You weren't there for when Stella called the serial hotline and said her name was Dr. Angela Doctor. It's like, that sounds horrible and hilarious. Robert's like, really? No, we weren't. Whatever, it was really funny at the time. It's like, sounds terrible, but okay. And we got Robert good, too. Please don't bring that up. That's so terrible. The fact that he let me get away with so little, like, flack on that. 
You're not helping me like you more again, Day. Why do you keep reducing your... You left yourself wide open for that one, dude. No. He had a ritualistic sort of thing. And honestly, we basically kicked a man when he was down. And took his clothes. And it was... We were... I was lucky... Not you, because you just sort of disappeared. That he, Spidey sensed that somebody was stealing his clothes, came back and caught me in the act. So we could have a meaningful conversation that wasn't him walk. Like, he took it like a champ. For someone who calls himself the prankster, you kind of got shown up. They, shut up. Like, Shut up by your mouth. You, you didn't do anything except for drunkenly encourage me to do something that you did not participate in and bailed on me. And I shouldn't have done it in the first place. And all I had to do to get like an extra like achievement or something or some other positiveness was like, you got shown up by the queens of pranks. It's like, well, it takes two of you to be one prankster, so... Nah. Yeah, you did. Okay, whatever. I totally got all of you with the that, that ladle ripper prank. Uh, you started it, and it really didn't really get us until Ingrid got involved. Especially Taylor. What? No, you didn't. Come on, you were horrified. Was not. Look, we were all nuts that night. We all got a little spooked. Except for Taylor, who got a lot spooked. I don't recall that. Maybe I forget it. Nice one. <laughs> all right, fine. Maybe I was a bit freaked out. Which is weird, because realistically... If I had to put you versus Robert... Like, I'm not counting the the other two, because, like, I'm a normal human being, and I have no chance against any of you. And I just don't see that Day has any real powers other than flight. In a fight between Robert and Taylor, like a real fight, like a, like a, they're like, you know... This isn't... They're angry at each other as people. Like, they are no longer themselves. They are just fighting, like, to the full extent of their ability without any recognition of the other person as, as somebody that they cared about ever. Not that they're trying to... They're just not themselves. They are being... They're just... Intelligent enough to fight the way they would fight intelligently, but, like, death battles kind of style. I would probably give it to Robert, and that's because I think that the sting and move tactics would would be more valuable, and I just don't think that Taylor is fast enough to keep up with Robert. I think both of them would be comfortable in an outward setting, but the whole camo hiding wouldn't really work for Taylor as well as it does for Robert. And Taylor would, like, it would take Taylor actually getting a lucky grab and then just being like, bam, bam! Like, but. I just, despite the size and mass difference, I, I just feel like Taylor could do less, da like, could do more damage, but wouldn't be as fast. And I don't think that he would be smart enough to do that much more. Like, he could throw stuff, but I doubt he would. I just think that Robert would have it. That's my that's my money. That's where my money would go if I had a bet. 
Just spit them. Taylor, don't, you don't understand. You came alive that night. I saw a fire in you that screamed, I want to live! And that, the, and the fact that I caused that filled me with pride. Also, clearly, Taylor isn't as intelligent as Robert. So, that means something. If they, again, if they were just, like, strangers who didn't know each other and they were, like, hired to assassinate each other and they just fought each other in a field or anywhere, really. Like, like, I'm, like, cutting out the fact that Robert has access to a dirt bike and, and skateboard and all that. Like, let's just, one-on-one, -on -one, I still feel Robert would win. Well, I'm happy that my terror did that for you. <laughs> we all just stood there for a second with big smiles across our faces. Then Robert took in a big breath of air and exhaled like he had just eaten a delicious meal. He vampirically feeds psych as like a psychic vampire. He, he feeds off of our terror and, and the the thing that that he does with prankingness. Just yeah, he's super happy. It's all good. It's just like good, good, good. What was that about? Huh? Nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to take in this moment. Just trying to just enjoy it, you know? Soon it's gonna be gone. Soon the ladle I used to know will be gone. Music change? Damn. Yeah, where'd that come from? Hey, I could be deep, okay? He writes poetry, bro. No, it's true. The other day I had a random family and a minivan asked me where the nearest supermarket was. That's gotta be awkward. Like, they're just, like, not even, like, weirded out. That's just gotta be weird. Supermarket, we have a market. There's shit out of luck. Yeah, but it just made me think how long until they start building one? Who, the family in the van? Yes. Yes, Robert. The family in the van, they're gonna be part of the construction crew to, to make the next Wally world, dude. Come on. No, it's just they. I guess it couldn't always stay boring old ladle forever. That family didn't freak out. What about the cryptids? Like, yeah, what about all the other cryptids in town? Are they okay with being found out or whatever? Like, I still don't know the rules here. Like, uh, my mom's cool with it. She says she's sick of hiding. Were you guys hiding? Were you guys hiding? It's kind of weird. Is it? Oh, wrong button. We have more in common than I thought we did. My family are sticking around, but they're a bit pissed. They like the seclusion, I guess. Yeah, I know a few people who are thinking of leaving. Like Marty, the mud guy. Says he's not waiting around for an angry mob to show up. Seems fair. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't blame anyone for being scared, though. It's kind of freaky having all these new people just showing up. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to being an adult, I guess. I feel woefully unprepared. What do you mean? All the teachers said grade 12 is meant to prepare you for adult life, so be ready for a tough year. 
Ha. Yeah, right. This year was a joke, right? Like, when we had that group project. Again, I really wonder if that was a turning point. Because, honestly, I was like, I'm going to take this point seriously. And then I was like, wait, when is this happening? And I thought it was happening in 1977. But it's actually happening in 1997. But even then, it's still kind of like... Seriously? Like, when are we going to make... Like, what kind of question is this? To... That's like a dumb task. We just kept putting it off, putting it off. Robert, I have to give it to you. You are amazing at finding ways to procrastinate. Hey, that wasn't all me, okay? No, we, we clearly were looking for a way of, out of actually doing work. But that way out, you found, was constantly telling us some random story. For like, hours. We were there for like, five hours, and we spent like, 20 minutes doing actual work. Right? There was that one about how you swear, swore you... No, he didn't say he saw a UFO. He, he never stated what he saw. Everybody else called it a UFO. I said I might have seen one. Might have. See, I mean, well, that's fair. That's, that's, that, that's fair. All I know is that there was an orb of light that moved in an unlikely flight tra trajectory. Are aliens that strange in comparison? I mean, we got cryptids, but I don't know. I'm a, honestly, as much as I've been kind of a dick to Robert, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe him. I believe you, Robert. Thanks, Stella. The point is, we goofed off that entire night, and we still managed to pass. Yup, still the same old ladle high. We stayed there, reminiscing until the time it was time for me to go home and pack. Wow, suck. Uh, then, as much as I didn't want to admit it, it was time for us to say goodbye. I said goodbye to Robert and Taylor first. Well, coffee snob, I'm gonna end this and start again because it's just like, seems proper. <laughs>